I need to know how to fix boiler furnace problems. Oiler furnaces are among the most durable appliances in your home, rated for 10 years but often last twice that. I can have a fridge limp along for an extra few years too, but that doesn't mean it works right. And usually it dies at the coldest part of the night. So how do I fix it? If it won't start, hit the reset button. On new ones, it is on the burner motors, but on older ones, it is on the primary control. That doesn't always work. Then you need to check the control board and fuse box, but don't keep hitting the reset button like an elevator button, or else it will have too much oil when it finally ignites and the least you'll get is a big boom in the box. And the worst case scenario is a fire. It may just boom up and make a lot of noise before turning off. And if you've had problems with the amount of oil it released with each controlled explosion and it banged up a few too many times, some safety system might have engaged. That's the time you want a professional. The motor or burner assembly might have burned out. The motor in that case needs to be replaced. If the motor is over oiled, it can burn out. Another case of call a pro to replace it. If the burner is running but there isn't a fire, you may need to clean the burner nozzle. I know moisture or ash can clog it. And sometimes the thing just needs to be replaced. You mean the nozzle, not the furnace. I'd rather not try to replace it if I don't have to, due to the price. You can see if it is too much water by turning off the oil supply. Catch the fuel in a glass jar and see if there's water in it. I hope not since that may mean there's a water leak into the tank. If there's trash or ash in the tank, turn it all off for an hour, let the debris sink to the bottom for an hour, then turn it back on. That just gets me running until it reoccurs. All you want right now is a not cold house while you wait for service. Oil delivery drivers can check for water in the tank, too, using water sensitive pastes. What else can I check? See if the circulator pump is running. And if its motor is really hot, the run capacitor or pump are locked up. Which means turn it off and call for service. And if they are cold and off, make sure the breaker is on, and if so, then call for service because something has shorted out or disconnected. And you should check to make sure the thermostat is turned up so that it turns on the furnace. The last thing you want to do is call for boiler repairs when the thermostat is set to fan. I've already checked that. So make sure the main or pilot burners are coming on. If it won't try to light, your vent pipe is likely blocked. If the pilot lights come on but don't stay on, the pilot light assembly needs to be cleaned. If it is on and steady but the unit shuts off, the flame sensor needs to be cleaned or replaced. At least I have so ideas of what to check myself so I don't pay service call rates for boiler maintenance.